Hey guys, this is Greg with Medical Muscle. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the BSFCR, the big two year exam that you take at the end of term five. Okay, so I've already made a video on term five, so if you haven't seen that, watch that video. Uh, but the way you take on uh, BSFCR, big, fatty, scary exam, is the same way you take on the cumulative exam that you take at the end of term two. The difference with this exam, and St. George has recently changed this, is it's no longer part of your term five grade. It's its own like term, okay? It's got its own grade, um, and it's curved pretty big because it's so hard. So just getting that out of the way, it's its own thing. It's not part of term five. So you can pass term five with an A and fail BSFCR, and your term five grade is still an A, and you got to retake BSFCR. So, um... I did um, about six weeks, just like I did in the previous one, but that depends on the person. I think if you feel like you need more time, it really comes down to doing questions. Um, I don't suggest going through old IMCQs. Um, you can, you can do that. It's very helpful. It would be better to um, go through those old topics, go through things that you're weak on, during the blocks, during the exam blocks in term five, you know, they're going to review everything. They're going to review a bunch of topics and they're going to throw a lot of things at you that you got to remember. And term five does a great job at prepping you for BSFCR. And, uh, for me, when I was getting ready for BSFCR, I was just doing RX, uh, US Assembly RX, um, just getting through a lot of those questions. Um, there's other things that you're given. Uh, you're given other test banks, UWorld. I don't suggest using UWorld yet. That's my suggestion. You can. I know some people that did. I felt like you're not ready for that. Okay. You have to get all the way through term five before you can do UWorld because UWorld really requires you to know basically everything and more things you don't know. <laughs> okay. So uh, I think it would be best to use a US Assembly RX, it's a little nicer, and it's got um, first aid as part of the answers. So it's nice, you can see like the little shortcuts, the little mnemonics that first aid has in the answers. I thought they explained it a lot better than you will. Um, and RX is required, you need to get a, I think you need to get 50% of the, um, you need to do at least 50% of the RX questions uh, to get your points. You know, if you if you get it right or wrong, it doesn't matter. You just have to do 50%. Um, I would say do all of them suggested plus more. Um, you can make your own tests and stuff. Um, go through those. And that will be the way that you're going to, um, you know, learn the material. If you feel like you're weak at something, go through Boards and Beyond or, you know, some other quick, easy, you know, sketchy or something to help remind you. But I don't suggest going through old lecture slides. That's a waste of time, a complete waste of time. Um, I mean, some people did it. I felt like, and they, they would tell me, shit, this was not useful. It's too slow, honestly, because you still have to study for your block exams while you're studying for the BSOCR. So doing questions is huge. Okay, now the actual exam itself, it's just like any other block exam, it's three blocks. Um, the questions are going to be kind of like what you saw in uh, previous blocks in term five. You're going to see material you probably have never seen before. That's a possibility. Um, and what, while I'm doing my step prep, I'm seeing UWorld questions uh, of things that we never covered in, term, in any term at St. George University. Uh, but it, you don't necessarily need to know what's going on, okay? It's some rare genetic condition that was never covered. Oftentimes, it's testing you on your intuition, which is weird, not logic, and um, your critical thinking skills. So sometimes there's going to be a wrong answer. You, you will know, and you'll know it's not that, okay? It's something else, it's something weird. Um, so... Uh, it really comes down, the actual exam comes down to intuition. Um, I know people, I, I, I think I got a raw score of like something in the 70s. Um, but I got curved so high that I ended up getting like an 88 uh, on the BSFCR. 88, 80, no, I got an 89. 
yeah, <laughs> I got an 89 on the DSFCR because it was curved so huge because it's so hard and so many people didn't pass it. Um, now, if, say, you know, this is something that you need to know, um, if you don't pass BSFCR, you can't take step, okay? So you can get an A in term five, but if you don't pass BSFCR, can't take step. Um, so, and obviously you can't take BSFCR if you don't pass. Well, no, actually, you can finish the last exam. Um, you won't get your grade back from the last exam in term five until after BSFCR. So you may not have passed term five and taken the BSFCR. Okay, that's a possibility. Um, but just say if you don't pass BSFCR for some reason, it does happen to really smart people because you're having to use more intuition than logic. I mean, even my my friends who do very well, who always, you know, who get chancellors, they were like, I don't know, I was felt like I was guessing. You know, you just have to use um, intuition, you know, use your, use your critical thinking skills, you know, just pick the most logical answer. Um, just pick what seems the most right. It's a weird thing to do and it's doable. You just kind of use this feeling, this tingle to answer the question. <laughs> um, so if you don't pass, then what that means is you take the BSFCR, like say if you end the term in May, like if you were a fall start, you end the term in May, um, you'll take the BSFCR sometime in July. And then you'll have to take step later, sometime in September, right? What happens, it's not the worst thing. Um, say if you take the BSR, BSFCR again later, um, then you just start clinicals later. You'll start them later than everybody else. And the downside is you may not get the clinical site that you want or be buddied up with the people that you want to be buddied up with. But uh, the benefit, there is a benefit, is that you get extra time to study for STEP. And because you're studying for the BSFCR, which is very similar to like a mini STEP, um, it's just more practice. So as you're studying for that BSFCR, you're also studying for the STEP, so which is nice. That's when you'll start using UWorld and you'll just have more time. So don't think of it as like this huge loss. Yeah, you get delayed a little bit on when you start clinicals, but it's not a huge problem. You know, I just want you guys to know that. Um, you know, I want you guys to pass the first time, but you know, if, just say if you don't, you're not totally screwed. It's not like you have to take the whole term over again. And that's why they separated it uh, from term five. So that's how you can go through BSFCR. I don't think there's really much more I can say about it. Um, you know, if you do well in term five, if that's your main goal, then BSFCR will be doable, okay? Just do well in the term and all those topics will be covered and you're basically reviewing for that while studying for your block exams, okay? And then going, getting closer to BSFCR through your block exams, start making little mini blocks on USMLE RX of questions of topics that you feel like you're weak on. Um, you say if it's renal or if it's um, cardiology or hematology, you know, just make little test banks and, and see if you know that stuff, okay? All right, guys, so, I hope you kick butt in term five, and I hope you kick butt in whatever term you're in. Good luck, guys.